This is the Haman Manus. It looks a bit like a pinwheel machine, but it uses a different mechanism inside. Let me show you how it works. To use it, it's very much like a, a pinwheel machine. You, turn, you move these levers, and with that you set the input that you can read off here in the input register at the top. At the front there's the results register of 13 digits, to the left of that is a counter of 8 digits, and those two are on a moving carriage. To add the input to the result, you turn the crank once, and there it is, it's added. The counter is now up to 1. Uh, let's do that again. You see that the uh, input was cleared automatically. This bar here was uh, moved up. Uh, to subtract, it's almost the same thing, except that instead of uh, moving the crank anti-clockwise, like you would with a normal pin machine, you have to flip a switch instead. A flip that. Uh, switch that says add and subtract. So you switch that to subtract. You can notice that the whole carriage moved half a step. And as it does so the uh, register's uh, number wheels are reconnected to the main mechanism through an intermediate gear. That way the numbers will move in the opposite direction. So when I turn the crank, it gets subtracted instead of added. To clear the register, you use these levers. The one on the right is the main register. The one on the left is for the counter. They're right next to each other, so you can do them both at the same time. Um, to uh, multiply, you then want to switch off this uh, this automatic clearing and you can do that with this little switch here you shift that forwards to the uh, multiplication mode now when I turn the crank this will just stay stationary so you can uh, do a small multiplication ah, I still had it on subtract let's try again Let's put it on to, to add mode. I can now s uh, shift the carriage to the right using these buttons. This one moves it to the right and this one moves it to the left. So I've now multiplied it by 123 and the result is this. So far that's all pretty similar to a pinwheel machine, except for that slight change in subtraction. Division is a whole other matter. This machine has automatic division. This is quite unusual for a small uh, adder like this, a small calculator like this. Especially back in 1925 when the first version of this machine was released. Let me show you how that works. First I'll uh, I've shifted, shifted the register all the way to the left. This is a little bit past the standard uh, first digit because uh, in this position the uh, whole mechanism is di disconnected. So now it's very easy to set an input number here. Um, if it's still connected, like like here, then yeah, you can still use these, but it's quite quite hard work. So it's much better to uh, shift all the way to the left because then you can easily set this to whatever number you want. So I'll just put in one here. I shifted it all the way to the left so that I can have a a good long division. 
Uh, for automatic division you have to push in this, uh, this, this knob at the front, like that, and shift the carriage all the way to the right. Uh, what I'll divide this one by is 7. So I'll calculate 1 seventh. Also have to uh, change this switch to uh, subtraction so that the counter will now start counting how many times I've subtracted uh, the input. Uh, and that's about it. Yes, this is off. So here we go. All I have to do is turn the crank uh, continuously and it'll do the whole division for me. It is now the, all the way to the left. The carriage is no longer connected to the main mechanism. So if I keep turning, nothing happens. Nothing gets subtracted anymore. Nothing gets uh, changed in the counter either. So the result of my division of 1 divided by 7 is 0.1428571, which is correct. This, uh, yeah, this automatic division, this uh, subtracts the number uh, until it underflows, and when it underflows, it shifts the carriage half a step, so that it then starts adding, so it adds once, and then it overflows, uh, and then it shifts the carriage again, this time to the next digit, and back in subtraction mode, and so on. So basically, it's. Uh, subtracts however often it, it should while still keeping it positive. It goes one step too far but it corrects that immediately afterwards. The, uh, the mechanism was invented by Christel Hamann in the uh, yeah, early 1920s and he uh, at that time he worked for DTV, uh, Deutsche Telefonwerke and uh, yeah, they produced this machine. Um, Christel Hamann was a very inventive and a prolific uh, designer of uh, calculators. He not only designed this and lots of related machines, but also the uh, Euclid, which uh, Mercedes uh, brought out, the Mercedes Euclid, that used uh, a proportional lever, it's called, and he also invented the uh, Gauss, which is a, a cylindrical uh, machine that uh, is a kind of a predecessor to the Curter. Uh, yeah, so this Hammond Manus came out in uh, 1925 with the uh, Type A or the Model A, and this one is the last version, the Type F. This one was made from 1953 till 1955, uh, and is basically the, the last one. Uh, a till F, there were all slight improvements over time, but uh, basically the functionality is the same on all of them. Uh, at the same time as this one, there was also uh, a Model R, um, Hammond Manus R. Uh, and that had uh, a back transfer mechanism as well. It was a bit more expensive. So that's it. This is the Hammond Manus. Thank you for watching.